Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called The Turning. This is a 2020 film. It is rated PG-13. It's directed by Floria Siskamandi. It stars Mackenzie Davis, Finn Wolfhard, and Brooklyn Prince. The runtime is an hour and 33 minutes. The description for more than a hundred years, a deeply haunting tale has been passed down to terrify audiences. DreamWorks Pictures' The Turning takes us to a mysterious estate in the Maine countryside, where newly appointed nanny, Kate, is charged with the care of two disturbed orphans, Flora and Miles. Quickly, though, she discovers that both the children and the house are harboring dark secrets and things may not be as they appear. This is The Turning. So, um, as poorly as this movie was painted out to be by people who saw it before me, um, I did decide to go see the movie. I was the only one in my theater. It was four or five days after the movie came out. And yes, I did hear things. And yes, I nothing, none of it was good. No, none, nothing that I heard was good. But I still wanted to see it because I like to have my opinion about things before I hear other people's opinions. And I already heard you know, enough about the turning that I just wanted to have my own opinion about it. So I sat through the thing even though I was by myself, even though I had a pop and things to interest myself, I still was really bored with the movie and I can kind of understand how people's were just opinions about this thing were so bad. But I do like to err on the side of positivity and so I don't think it was as bad as people painted it out to be. The first thing to say about this movie is the first part of this movie. The first half hour or so, I can be on board with this thing. I thought it was interesting. I thought it set up a story pretty well. It introduced us to the characters. It gave us a backstory. It introduced us to the people that had been in the house, the caretaker and the children. And it let us know why things were creepy. It gave us one creepy thing. It was fine. I, I mean, honestly, you cannot give your lowest grade of a movie if the movie is one-third okay. I mean, you know, it, things have really got to go downhill from there for you to think that it's so bad. So, the rest of this movie, after the first half hour... Yes, they're confusing. Yes, you can rip them apart. And, you know, like this this caretaker, Kate, she has a conversation where you can just be, like, rolling your eyes the whole time. She's like, oh, no, I can't leave the house. It's like, yes, you can. Um, so that part, I can understand people rolling their eyes. I can understand people rolling their eyes and being bored with some of the jump scares. But some of them are pretty good, you know. I didn't see all of them coming. And the ghosts, you know, I mean, like, you can say you see things coming, but that doesn't mean that you did. Um, some of the ghosts in this, you know, are actually pretty good. Now, where it gets confusing is towards the end. And that's where that's what everybody's ripping apart, is the ending of this movie. And yes, it's one of the worst endings of a movie of all time. But I like to think that there's deeper meaning to this movie. I watched one video that has some theories, and I like those theories. But I have a little bit more of a theory that either this whole movie was a dream sequence, but it never implies it, so we're not able to take that away. Or that, like, everything in this movie has a symbolism of it that it actually means something else. Like, it's somebody else's story and this is their way of telling it. 
And that doesn't really help the ending at all. But it, if there's deeper meaning to this movie and the ending signifies something, then I really wish somebody would just come out and say what it is. That way people can look back at this movie and go, oh, okay, well, then that kind of makes sense. It kind of justifies things. It kind of ties things together. Um, I think that's his biggest mistake is not the acting, not the cinematography, not the weird music that they're playing, but just that they don't justify their movie. You can talk about people being on the project and leaving. You can talk about it not having that big of a budget. You can talk about how awkward the ending is and everything. And I mean, the children do a pretty good job acting. The caretaker of the house, the, the older lady does a pretty good job acting. I don't think this movie stinks. I just think it's very unwieldy. And it just doesn't know how to explain itself. So it throws a bunch of stuff in there. And they end it the way they did. I just wish they would have been like, hey, for anybody who doesn't get this ending, this is what actually it means. And we'd all be like, oh, okay, sounds good. Or you just tie another thing on there to, you know, another five minutes to actually end the movie. You know, it just it's such a weird ending. Um, it's not the first movie I've seen that ends this way very abruptly. But it is weird for any movie to end that way. So, I think I could talk about this for a long time. I just wish there was more people to talk to. I think I wish there was more theories out there. I wish there was less people just saying this was a really bad movie because I don't think it was just that. I think that there was a lot more to this movie. I think people had thoughts about it. Maybe they didn't know how to carry out those thoughts, but I can tell that they're there. And so that's more of a movie than some pieces of crap that I just, like, know are crap. So... I don't think this is the worst movie of the year. I'm not on that boat. I know it was bad. I know it was confusing. But I am giving a little bit of props for some of the things that it had in it. Some of the ideas that it had in it. The execution was poor. The entertainment value was poor. But I just don't think it's worth ripping the whole thing apart. I'm going to give The Turning a C-. minus. Obviously, I don't want to ever watch it again. But it might come to that point where if so many people hate the movie, it might turn into a cult classic or something. And maybe at that point, people will start talking about this and give it some justification and give it some ideas. And maybe it might actually become out. What might come out of that is some meaning. So that's all I can say for now. A C- minus for the turning. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watched. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy your movies. Thanks.